like uh, in that little dream. Oh my Jesus Christ! Good day and welcome to Leave Me Alone. So this is a slasher horror inspired game from like the 80s, 90s inspiration. So hopefully it ends up being really fun. Maybe it's gonna be a little campy like those movies were. Uh, I believe there is a chance for me to die and there's probably gonna be a lot of blood or messed up scenes. So if you aren't for that, you're warning. Uh, with that being said though, let's go in this together, have a lot of fun and see how this game is. Whoa, where the hell am I? God, let's do a, <laughs> let's do an upshot up here. Um, must be just me staring at the door. Oh, that that's not good. Hi, machete wielding man. Oh. Nightmare? Nightmare, okay. Cool, 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 cool. We're still alive, hopefully, then. I was like, I already died three seconds into the game. That's not good. Our base was ready to move on to Genoa, and they came. Oh, cool, we're going camping. Our Navy got back home, and as we caught them, a light hit us, and as we decided not to panic. Good call, good call. Ready, let's, uh, get a pack. In. I guess I got everything. That was fast. All right, out we go for our lovely not murder camping experience, you know, uh, walk on out, going to have a peachy weekend, everyone's going to come back alive, nothing to worry about. Uh, this, this game says no music is copyrighted right here next to me, but this is Highway to the Danger Zone, which I'm pretty sure is copyrighted. Or is it not because of, like, it's just that beat? Hey, Noah. Excited for this adventure in the forest? Absolutely, Jackson. This getaway is going to be the best. Nothing like a good dose of nature to escape the everyday chaos. Totally agree. Hey, I heard this why does, has strange stories. Why does Jackson Foster sound like, uh... Take, uh, Watiti. I'm, I know I butchered his name, but the director from Thor. It won't be anything major, just two guys enjoying the outdoors. I hope you're right. Two guys enjoying the outdoors, you say, like, a Brokeback Mountain? Or, like, two bros, two actual bros. If I saw something strange, I'd run faster than a scared squirrel. But on a serious That's fair, I'd run that fast, too. We'll be fine. It's just a camping trip. Is it just a camping trip? You just jinxed yourself, bro. Too late now. Everyone going to die. Everybody's going to die now. He said there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Why is there a random, like, bank truck following me? Looks like someone just got their money and said, now we're going to the woods. Whispering Woods. What a... Lovely name for a camping area. You know, the whispering sounds of the damned in your ears. You stare up at the stars and then Okay, okay. I like I do like how this game has a lot of pet scenes. Really cool, really nice. Just kind of more uh you know, in depth of this creator trying to do a lot with it. We've arrived. Yeah. Who? Well, that's His shirt says eighties. Set up the tent, and I'll go gather some wood for the campfire. What do you think? I mean, sure, bro. All right. I'll start setting up the tent. <laughs> Their faces look so weird. I get the tent from the trunk? No? Do I just have the tent on me? Do I walk into the void? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I guess... That's a good place as any. Right there in the middle of an open field is definitely where I want to set my tent up. Uh, what else do I need? Backpack. I'm gonna go back to the tent. The tent's already destroyed. It's a very massive open field in these woods, so this has to be man-made. Like, you know, they clear out camping sites for people to do stuff like that. Probably what it is. The fact you have a lantern though is kind of funny. That's that's a very old light to try to walk around with, and they're ne normally heavier than flashlights. 
explore the map. Y'all mind if I do? I'm gonna go this way. See what I find. Where am I going? Am I just... Or what? That's a cemetery. What is this? A graveyard? Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. It's a graveyard. I see a note back there, though. Uh, just a coffin! Uh, my copy discovery in Whispering Woods Cemetery, September 19, 1982. The tranquility of the peaceful Whispering Woods forest was once again disrupted by a sinister discovery when a body was found in the local cemetery. Residents who frequent the forest for outdoor activities and visit the cemetery are, perpe are perplexed by the disturbing event. Details are still uh, scarce, but initial reports indicate that a passerby discovered the body during a morning walk through the cemetery. That's not suspicious at all. Authorities were immediately alerted and are conducting a thorough investigation to determine the victim's identity, as well as the circumstances that led to the ominous discovery. The area around the cemetery has been temporarily con cordoned off as investigations seek evidence and clarification on the incident. So far, there is no information or eyewitness or possible suspects. Residents are expressing growing unease, reigniting old rumors and dark stories associated with the forest and the cemetery. Authorities are appealing for community collaboration, urging anyone with relevant information to come forward to assist in solving this dark mystery. The investigation is ongoing, and updates will be provided as more information emerges. Cool, cool. That was a lot to read. And as you all can tell, I can't read the best sometimes. Alright, so... There was a body discovered here in the wood, or the cemetery. I hope it's not the body in that box, because that'd be a little messed up. Like, you just... Oh, hey, we found your body. We're going to leave it here. Another path straight ahead. Yeah, because I came from the right area. Pretty sure, at least. This should be a different way I'm going right now. You're going to be another cemetery? Huh! No, nope, but there's a... Massive building in the middle of the woods for... Some reason. I go around. Great. What must this do? Nope, and it's wall, of course. Maybe I wasn't supposed to come this way. Maybe this is for later in the game. But then again, it didn't block off the path. Oh, I, nope. Can't go around that way. All right. I guess we're going back to the campsite. All righty. We're back at the campsite. And he's fortunately still alive. He's got enough wood for the night, though. It's a very small amount of wood for a night-long fire, bud. Hey, Jackson. I brought the firewood. That, that's Let's that's not fire. enough. It's getting late. You're gonna, Jackson, do you have something to light the campfire? If you're going to try to set a fire for a whole night, you're going to need, like, way more wood than that. Like, it's a lot of wood you need to burn. I, there was one time I went camping with buddies, and we set up a uh, campfire along, like, a rock face to try to reflect the heat back. Worked fairly well. Uh, but we literally had to put, like, a half of a tree that had fallen down on the fire for it to last all night, and it barely survived the night. Like, it's a lot of wood you need. This music is completely overshadowing this audio. I hope you can hear them talking. I can, but again, this music is really, really loud for it. Yeah, with a group of people, not two of you. That's a horrible name for hmm. no, a ghost. What's best for you? They say many years ago, a lone traveler got lost in this forest. He walked along a trail, but was never seen again. They say now, Interesting. At night, you can hear his silent footsteps wandering through the forest, as if still searching for his way home. That's that's whack. Yeah, I've never seen anything that couldn't be explained. But there's always something eerie about this forest, don't you think? Imagination plays tricks on us, but hey, we're here to have fun. No ghosts yeah. are going to spoil our night. Uh, a, a murderer might ruin your night. No legend will stop us from enjoying our getaway. It, you're you're all just jinxing yourself. A long time passed. Jackson and Noah talked for hours, as bros do. You know, getting real deep in thought. Never talk to each other. All right, cool, bro. Go do that. What? Well, you guys are going into the same tent. Why are you saying goodnight outside the tent? 
a few hours later. Like, that makes no sense. If you're, you're both sharing a tent. Why'd you leave it open? Uh, I think that was Noah. Oh. Did Noah sleep, not sleep in the tent? Uh, let's run over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I am. There we go. I forgot, um, that I could sprint this game. It said in the beginning, and I didn't do it at all. Hopefully I'm going the right way to find Noah. If not, then uh, we're going to be running for a hot minute. Look at that form, though. Great running form. Absolutely phenomenal. Zooming through these woods, boy. Wait. Path this way. Nope. Didn't. And tank controls over here on movement. Am I going the right way? Oh, hey. What's this? Oh. Alright, windows are locked. Door. Oh, these windows weren't locked. Interesting. A lot of tools. It's a very well stocked for an Oh wait, no right there. Uh, Mystery and Whispering Woods Forest, date January 27, 1983. In a shocking turn of events, the serene Whispering Woods Forest, known for its tranquility, has become the stage for a mysterious accident. Uh, authorities were alerted after the discovery of disturbing evidence. Sorry, I cannot talk right now. Suggesting a possible murder deep in the forest. Details are scarce at the moment, but sources indicate that the incident occurred during the night, adding a layer of mystery to the occurrence. Authorities have not confirmed the identity of the victim or the possible perpetrator, keeping details under wraps as the investigation is ongoing. Local residents have expressed shocking concern about the situation, recalling urban legends and old stories associated with the forest. So far, there are no reports of eyewitnesses to the incident, contributing to the enigma surrounding the event. Authorities are appealing to anyone with relevant information or who may have noticed suspicious activities in the Whispering Words area to come forward immediately. All right. So... We chose to go camping in woods that are known to have issues. Like, I get... Is that where I just came from? Nope, that's not where I came from. So, in here. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I can't go in this door? Already, I can't go in that door. Is this the... Area from the beginning that showed, like uh, in that little dream. Oh my Jesus Christ! Oh, hey bud. Um, I came to the wrong cabin. I'm gonna go now. Hi. Go, go, go. Out the window. And now I'm going to run to the car as fast as I can, right? Which is this way. Go, 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 go. Oh, dear God. No, 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 no. Run, run, run. Run, you fool. Run. Oh, God. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Why? Wow. Okay. R load, load, load. Oh, no. Not like this, bro. Not like this. Go, 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 go. Oh shit, please tell me I'm the one with the keys. Please tell me I have the car keys. Oh, go, 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 Oh, that way. I, I almost didn't realize that was a turn. Oh, go, 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 go. Track star. Cross country runner. Pull the win. Go, 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 go. Shit, 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 shit. Get the car, get the car, get the car. Please tell me I have the keys. Please tell me I have the keys. What? I don't. Ah, no, no, no. What the hell? I don't have the keys? Of course, I don't have the keys. Let's uh, do that again. Oh, we're gonna go inside this building. Come on, come on, Jackson, run as fast as you can, bro. Honestly, I, I would throw that lantern at this mofo. I would hit somebody with a lantern. Hopefully, the gas gets on them too, and they just get lit up. Yep, it's the place in the beginning. 
And I'm not going to make it. It's locked. Of course it is. Ah. Uh, damn it. Hi, bud. Hey, man. We can... We can talk about this, alright? I think telling a murderer to leave you alone isn't a bright idea. Yep! God damn it. <sighs> that was actually really fun for a uh, PS1 style horror game based off of 80 slasher films. Really well done. I had a lot of fun with it. I hate that I knew I was gonna die though. Like I I knew how this worked. They had jinxed it too many times that oh we're gonna be fine, we're gonna be good. You jinxed yourselves, guys, you jinxed yourselves. Um I do recommend playthrough. Uh it's on itch.io if you guys wanna go check it out. Um Another thing, this guy is also the creator of the game, uh, The Smiling Man, which I have never played, but I know it's a very popular game. Um so if you want to check that out too, it's all on his channel on itch.io or his profile on itch.io. If you like the video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe. It does help me in the channel grow. That being said, I hope you all have a lovely day.